In this video, you are going to quickly learn how you can drive targeted traffic from Reddit with a simple AI automation. All right, so the first thing is that we are going to start with our trigger. In this case, I'm going to demonstrate everything on WordPress. In the event section, I'm going to use new post. This is going to trigger the workflow when a new post is created. That's exactly what we want. I'm going to choose that one and then continue. You then want to connect your WordPress with your Zapier account. It's super simple and you are going to use your credentials to log in. And then you also have to install a Zapier plugin on your WordPress site. I've already done that, so I'm going to continue. And then you have to specify the trigger a little bit more. We want to trigger this whenever we publish a blog or article. So I'm going to say published. And then in terms of the post type here, depending on your website, you're going to see the options that you can choose from. As you can see, based on my template that I'm using on my website, I have different options. But usually what you want to find is something called articles, blog or posts. So I'm going to go with post and then continue. And then I'm going to test this trigger and as you can see we were able to find three different articles that are already published on my site for example this first one we have the link over here under the title rendered we have the exact title of my article and then the whole article can be found here under content rendered all right so when we have successfully found the article on our wordpress site we can go and continue with selected record and then as our first action we are going to be using chat gpt to craft human-like titles that are going to be posted on reddit on our our behalf linking to our article so in this case you want to choose conversation this one is going to send a prompt to chat gpt and then you are going to receive the answer back inside zapier so i'm going to click on that one and then i'm going to continue right now you want to connect your chat gpt with your zapier it's super simple you are going to create an api key on your profile on openai.com and then you're simply going to copy and paste that over here. Remember, you can also connect your OpenAI and ChatGPT and all the other apps prior to creating Zaps on your homepage in the menu section called Apps. And right now we are going to start with our prompt. Prompt goes inside user message. And for this, just to save time, I'm going to go inside my database where I store all my AI automations. And I have recently created this one for the web traffic autopilot with Reddit. We are on the second app, which is ChatGPT. So I'm going to copy the whole prompt and paste it directly inside my Zapier. Here you can see that I structured the prompts a little bit differently. I use different parameters such as context, details, style, and so on. So if you want to know how you can write your prompts directly inside Zapier it's a little bit different so I would recommend you to go in the first link in the description down below where you can get the totally free no junk resource that I have put together which teaches you exactly how you can use these parameters directly inside Zapier this is going to allow you to be very efficient with your prompts especially when you scale up or you want to simply just adjust your prompt and uh, because you don't like the output so you can pause the video and read through it but basically firstly I'm starting out with a parameter called context then details in this one you really want to make sure that you include everything how you want the title to be structured so you can see I'm being very specific here about how my prompt should look like because we don't really want to generate these random chat GPT titles that everyone knows that they have been generated by chat GPT especially on reddit people are very clever inside the article parameter you want to go to your trigger and then you want to find the whole article it's stored under the content rendered so I'm going to choose that one insert that in brackets so it's very nicely structured and then in this style I'm trying to prompt chat GPT to be a little bit more human-like so educative friendly intriguing and then at the end i'm writing down the whole prompt the next thing is that we want to go and choose our model for this if you are using these parameters that are kind of more advanced level you really want to go and choose gpt4 and then in the memory key this is probably the most important thing in your ai automation zapier is super good in this because it allows you to set up a memory key you can think about memory key as storing all the chats within one conversation so chat gpt is always going to remember all the history and prior chats that you have had before this allows you to keep the output consistent and structured very nicely so because if i am happy with the title and the structure and how it looks like i'm going to set up a memory key so i keep the output consistent now here you could say that you could use um, maybe the name of the article or the title as the dynamic variable but here you have to realize that each time you're going to trigger this event which is going to be with different article each time thus the title is also going to be different each time and because I really want to keep the output consistent,
end, I'm going to hard code and set up a static memory key here. And I'm not going to use any of the dynamic variables. For the username, assistant name, and assistant instructions, I'm going to keep them as they are because I have already included everything inside my prompt. So if you are going to use the same prompt that I have given you, then you don't have to change these. I'm not going to change max tokens and top P, but I'm going to change the temperature. And the reason why is that I found out that if I lower the temperature, the output is going to be way more focused and deterministic, which is actually the feature of the temperature. So I don't want the output to be crazy and creative because then it creates these kind of, you know, random chat GPT titles, which everyone knows that they have been generated by chat GPT. And that's why I'm going to lower the temperature to 0.2. I'm then going to continue. And right now I'm going to test this action and see whether I like the output. All right, so we got the green confirmation. So I'm going to just scroll down and check that out under the response content. That is where your title is going to be found. And as you can see, this title is way more personalized and human like. It really sounds like I have just typed that down. Now this might look long, but Reddit allows you to write titles that are maximum of 300 characters, which is exactly what I specified inside the prompt as well. So this is exactly what we want. And right now I can continue. All right, so in our second action, I'm going to use Reddit as our app. And in the event section, I'm going to choose new link post, which basically submits a new link post to any subreddit. So I'm going to choose that one. And then I'm going to continue. You want to once again, connect Reddit with your Zapier. You simply are going to log in with your credentials and you're good to go. I have already done that. So I'm going to continue. And then here you want to specify everything about the subreddit where you want to post your educative content. So whenever you write this educative content, you want to distribute it to these subreddits. The first thing you have to choose is the title. In this case, you know that the title is stored under the ChatGPT conversation. So you want to click on that one and then you want to scroll down and find the reply variable. This one is going to include the title that you have just generated. The second thing you want to specify is the exact name of your subreddit where you want to post. In this case, I chose marketing automation. Now keep in mind, you should not use the slash r slash before the name of the subreddit. You simply just write the name of the subreddit in lowercase. We also have the link that we can right now utilize that is going to redirect people from Reddit to our website. So here you want to click and go to your trigger event with WordPress. And then the first dynamic variable is going to be called link and you want to place it directly over here. All right, so I'm going to continue. And right now I'm going to test this action, whether it works, we got green check mark. So let's actually go to the marketing automation subreddit and I'm going to refresh the page and yeah, it worked. So as you can see, we got the post created on Reddit for us with a nice title. If I'm going to click on that one, you can see that we got the title that ChatGPT has generated for us as well as the image preview. All right, so because we know that this right now works, we can replicate this and add multiple subreddits inside our automation. So once again, I'm going to start with our ChatGPT blog. I'm going to send a conversation. I'm going to continue. You want to once again, make sure that you're connected with ChatGPT. And right now we want to specify the second prompt. So this one is going to be posted in a subreddit called AI marketing. So I'm going to go and copy the second prompt for AI AI marketing specialist and paste it directly inside my user message. In this case, the prompt is exactly the same. You simply can change the niche over here. As you can see here, I change it to AI marketing specialist. In our article, we want to go inside our trigger and go and find the rendered output. So it's the content rendered. I don't have to change anything else. Once again, GPT-4 and then the memory key. I'm actually going to use the same one because after we tested this for the first time, I really like the output and how it looks like. It's really human like so i'm going to use the same memory key that i put down in the first example once again i'm keeping everything the same the only thing i'm changing is the temperature because i really want the output to be more deterministic and focused i don't want any creativity i'm going to hit continue i'm going to test this action and see whether the output looks similar to the previous one we got a green check mark so i'm going to scroll down and under the response content i can see that the title starts once again with i the first person narrative which I like and the title once again sounds like I have just written it down and it doesn't sound like ChatGPT has just generated it so I'm really happy with it I can continue right now we are going to set up the second subreddit so I'm going to go and choose new link post once again make sure your reddit is connected to Zapier and then what you want to here do is to find the second title that you have generated as you can see I have named them very nicely so in this case um, just a tip for you is that you want to go and click on the three dots if you have multiple ChatGPT GPT steps, 
you can actually rename them over here and then give them very descriptive names so it's easy for you to find them when you are using the dynamic variables so i'm right now going to post inside the ai marketing and then i'm going to find the reply variable and insert it inside my title the subreddit once again i write down the exact name lowercase and then in the url i also want to go to my trigger and then link this url to my reddit post all right so i'm done with that so i can continue and right now we are going to test this action whether it works we got a green confirmation so let's go to ai marketing and as you can see yeah it worked so we got the title that ChatGPT generated once again we're in the ai marketing subreddit and if i click on that one you can see we got this nice title that ChatGPT generated for us as well as the link that people can go to and visit our page you can then go ahead and repeat the process once again for another subreddit and that leads me to the last section where i'm going to show you what kind of obstacles or errors you might experience so the first one could be that the subreddit is not allowing urls to be posted what then happens is that you go through the test and you get a green check mark but the json file in the test is going to show you that the subreddit is not allowing urls to be posted in that case you have to find another subreddit the second obstacle you might encounter with posting on reddit is that your post must have something called subreddit or reddit flare this is the tag that you put inside your reddit post and so once again you might see this in your JSON file when you perform the test and in that case you simply have to find another subreddit and then thirdly you might see that some subreddits are not allowing to post if you are a new member or if you have just joined the subreddit so then what happens is that you get this answer the test goes through but from the reddit api you receive a json file back saying that this subreddit only allows trusted users or members to post inside in that case once again you will need to find another subreddit within your niche now there are multiple benefits for example you can use this to build your seo game you might have seen that reddit is ranking on google pretty well so this is one of the benefits that your article is potentially going to appear on the first page on google another thing is that you are going to get some feedback in the comment section if your article is teaching something and you never know your article might actually go viral on reddit if you're interested in how you can write these prompts inside zapier with the parameters go inside the first link in the description down below where i show you the 3p framework which teaches you how to leverage the parameters the same way as prompt engineers do it's totally free no junk and you can find it in the first link in the description down below you're also going to find my ai database where i store all my AI automations with the apps prompts events and everything else that you can just simply copy and paste inside zapier thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video i believe you are also going to enjoy this video that you can right now see on your screen thank you so much for watching and have a great day